Hey, Dr. James, you know that seven-year-old girl in room two, Tanya, with abdominal pain? Her parents are quite shook up about the whole thing and feel really guilty for not bringing her in sooner. Just an FYI. Thanks for the heads up, Naliosha. Also, she is feeling better after the Tylenol and her parents are waiting for an update. Great, I'll go check in on her. Hello, Tanya. How are you feeling now? Is your belly pain better? Hmm, a little, but I can still feel it. Hmm, I see. So, Mr. and Mrs. Richardson, I want to reassure you that you did the right thing by watching her at home yesterday and bringing her in after waking up in pain tonight. <sighs> I also want to share Tanya's test results with you. The blood work was normal. The blood count, kidneys, sugar, all normal. And the urine test came back normal as well. That's great, but why did she have such pain? That's a good question. Tanya's pain was in her right lower abdomen, so we're concerned about an infection of the appendix, which is why we ordered a quick ultrasound. Uh, okay, we're following you. But unfortunately, an ultrasound doesn't always give us the information we need. In Tanya's case, it did not show appendicitis, but it did not show a normal appendix either, so it was not entirely helpful. Am I making sense? Sure. If I understand correctly, the blood work was normal, the urine tests were normal, but the ultrasound was unclear. Exactly. So what do we do next? Well, we have a couple of options. There's a small chance Tanya has early appendicitis, so we could do a CT scan to see more clearly, but that has some downsides. For one, it involves radiation, kind of like an x-ray, but with much more radiation. Tanya would also get contrast fluid in her IV, and a small percentage of patients are allergic to it. Lastly, it would be a couple hours before we could get the scan, have a radiologist read it, and give us a formal report. Any questions so far? How much radiation are we talking about? It's about eight millisieverts, if you want to get technical. We all get about two to three millisieverts a year just from the environment. And in the long term, radiation can increase the risk of cancer, like when you get a bad sunburn. Okay, so what are our options? You could take Tanya home and watch her closely for the next eight to 12 hours. We call it watchful waiting. If her symptoms return or she develops a fever, just bring her back to the emergency room and we will reevaluate her. Or we can get the CT now. I feel comfortable going either way. It really depends on what you prefer. What do you think, honey? I'd rather wait and see what happens. Sweetie, do you feel okay to go home now? Yes, Mommy. Okay, let's do that. Doctor, thank you so much for taking the time to explain everything. It's my pleasure. Any other questions before I go? Uh, yes. Do you validate parking? <laughs> That's an easy one. The clerk at the front can help you with that. Nice to meet you all. I'll be right back with the discharge paperwork. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>